Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, uh, I just got home <laughs> from Long Beach uh, a couple hours ago. Uh, managed to get everything unpacked and all is good. Everything made it home just fine, which is fantastic. Uh, we were thinking about shipping our stuff home and then we're like, well, we didn't do that. We just kind of carried it with us, but everything safe and sound. Very, very cool. I got the Blade Show West specific stickers out there. I know it kind of looks like 28, 21, but it's a zero with a line into it. That's kind of a military zero. So 28, 21 is a long time in the future. But anyway, um, I do have a lot of those left over. I give, I give quite a few away while we were down there. But I do have a lot of these left over, so they're going to be going into swag packs and all that good stuff, giveaways and so on but guys i just kind of wanted to do like a final wrap-up type video give you a look at the knives that i got while i was at blade show uh blade show west 2021 in long beach and there'll be reviews coming but holy cow i've got a lot of stuff to do and i don't know it's like if you if i could show you to my left here it looks like the post office and fedex just threw up in my room so i so much stuff to go through but anyway guys i tell you what let's uh i'm gonna show you the knives that we got here we're gonna zoom out we're gonna put that right up there and yes i kind of went with a different background because well i really want you to be able to see these knives right here right now so what did i get at blade show west well <laughs> We all knew that uh, Monterey Bay was going to have some fantastic knives there, and they absolutely did. So, the first one I'm going to show you is this one, man. This is the Pinter. Man, look at that knife. Titanium M390 blade, red and black fat carbon inlays. These things are fantastic, man. Now, this is kind of a full-size version of, you remember, there was the Min Pin. Well, this is basically the full-size version of such. And there were several different inlaid versions they had. And then, of course, they had just the full titanium. They put the full titanium ones on sale, uh, what was it, like a week or so? I think the week before Blade Show West. And then they had a bunch of these with the inlays actually at the show and of course you know they post pictures on instagram and i see oh look at that and well you know i had to grab one of course red and black come on now <laughs> so yep i ended up i spent a little money at the monterey Bay may table so yeah oh well that's what we work hard for right but man action <laughs> action is just silly of course Ray Laconico design. Man, just a, another beautiful, beautiful knife coming out of MBK and from Ray. So that is the first one that I picked up. And I tell you what, guys, I'm going to show you these knives. And then I just want to talk about the show a little bit. So bear with me and I'll show you. And I, I'm going to probably save what I call the best for last. But... This was a pretty heavy Laconica weekend for me. Um, had to visit Artisan. Of course, Russell from Artisan. Uh, Dylan Mallory was there. We're definitely going to see something from Dylan here in a little bit. Uh, Swags was there. I mean, they had Chris from Cerberus Knives. Mike Emler was at their table. I mean, they had everybody um, Artisan did at their table. It was great to see everybody. So, very, very cool but while i was there yes i did pick up another laconico design this is the Sirius. now of course there you can see it's got the double micarta or double coral micarta excuse me front flipper that inset thumb stud oh there you go oh can we see that there you go, Ray Lacarno Co. Artisan Cutlery. Man, and this thing, 
Now, the inset liner, it's just like, you know, I, that's what I love about the CEO and the Rhea. That inset liner, man, you can just, it gets behind it and it, it really does feel assisted. Man, it comes out so, so nice. And of course, it is a front flipper as well. Terrific, terrific knife. There you go. Let's zoom in. S35VN on this one. Does appear that the thumb stud is reversible there, but of course, there's no inset on the other side. So it's not reversible. So just remember that. Oh, man. This is such a sleek, sleek knife. I don't want to give too much away. Like I said, I'm going to try to review all these, but I left home and now I'm way, way behind. I'm just, but so I just wanted to make sure we took a look at what we got. Now, I, I did get Nelly a couple of knives while I was there. This is a new company, man, Brighton Blades, brightonblades.com. And it's Brighton like Brighton Your Day. It's with an E-N. And it's, I believe her name is Diane. Christine, correct me if I'm wrong. And her three daughters. And they make these knives specifically for women. They're, they have inspiration. Like this one obviously is Hope. This is for breast cancer awareness. A proceed of the sale of this knife does go to fund breast cancer awareness, research, that type of thing. Very, very cool. Awesome. This one, I definitely got it for Nelly because, well, it's pink and she likes pink. But very cool. I believe right now they have 12 mottos, models and they have, like this one says hope. There's hope, faith, uh, love, resilient. I mean, it's just inspirational. The name, the name of the knives are like inspirational words. Which I think that's awesome. It's very cool. As you can see, you got a little bit of bling going on there for the ladies. Now, they're thumb studs. But check that out. This one, like I said, is hope. But look how that trails off from the blade onto the bolster there. That's pretty cool. I'm digging that. You got a nice trailing point blade there. Upswept. It's a liner lock. This will definitely... I got to do a little bit more research on these because I don't remember the blade steel right off the top of my head. So, but I'm definitely going to do another full review on this one because I think what they're doing is absolutely fantastic. And the other cool thing about it is each one of these knives has a smaller keychain knife, you know, a matching smaller keychain knife. So really cool. I got a few of those too. I'll be putting some of those in giveaways um, for sure. But there you go. Brighton Blades, guys. If you have a lady that's into knives, man, she's got to have a Brighton Blade. Come on. It, it, very cool. Very cool. Um, oh, and then Nellie's other knife. Y'all know Nellie loves Dylan. She loves Dylan Mallard. Well, <laughs> she sent him a sticker, you know, one of her Nellie stickers. And she signed it. And then she put a little heart on it. Well, when, he, when I bought this knife... He signed the card and put a little heart on it back. Oh, I think I should be worried. I don't know. You know, should I be worried? Let me know. But anyway, um, this is the Blade Show West specific Centros. Look at that carbon fiber. Looks absolutely fantastic. It's full size, full size Centros. Oh, titanium pocket clip. Blacked out blade, as you can see there. It is reversible, so there you go. Pocket clip. Open construction. Man, would you look at that. Now, I got, like I said, I got this for Nelly. So, let's see if we can zoom in there. S35VN again. Designed by Dylan Mallory. And this is 23 of 60. There's 60 of them. And Dylan told me I could pick any... Anyone I wanted, so I was getting it for Nelly, so I picked number 23 because we were married on the 23rd of December. Yeah, I'm gushy like that sometimes, but <laughs> anyway, uh, it's another fantastic Centros. Now, I will point something out, guys. These, 
may actually, um, I believe I saw something on Instagram, maybe a story or something. But go check Artisan on Instagram because it kind of looked like they had some models left over, and I believe those went on sale today. I th I'm almost positive I saw that on the Artisan. Like I said, it was Instagram, and I think it was an Artisan story. So you may be able to go get. Let's see. There was a there was a Blade Show West specific. The Centros. There was a Sea Snake by Mike Amler. Um, the, the Malia from Swags. Was it three or was there another one? Oh my goodness. I am fried, guys. I am exhausted. I thought there was four, but it might have only been those, those three. So go check out Artisan on Instagram. Go check out Artisan.com. Their website, possibly. And, and check into that if you're looking to possibly pick up one of those knives from... Uh, Blade Show West, the Blade Show West exclusives. Definitely go check that out. Now, I bought this knife because it was kind of cool. Civivi, um, Seth at We and Civivi, he does so much for uh, the Apex Pass Around group and stuff. And I saw this knife and it was kind of cool. Now, I ended up giving this one away on SKL. So this one's going to end up going to Johnny H. He won this on SKL, you know. I bought it and I was like, you know, we need to put a knife in from Blade Show West on SKL. And it's, here's, let's see. You can tell because it's just written on it. <laughs> so that kind of tells you it's not a stock, you know, it's not an in-stock knife. They had to write it on the box. But again, Black Blade, really cool. I'm digging this one. I am digging this one quite a bit, and on, oh man, I am completely spacing the blade steel on this one. Um, but it's the relic, so sorry guys, I'm spacing the blade steel on this one. But one of the cool things that I thought was pretty cool and fun is it actually has tweezers in the handle. And Seth was like, oh yeah, we're giving you a little Swiss Army action there, he was funny. Uh, Seth is an awesome, awesome guy. If you ever get the chance to go to a show and talk to him, I highly recommend it. He's a fantastic, fantastic guy. Um, so, yeah, Johnny H., this knife will be coming out to you in the next couple of days. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. Absolutely. And, yeah, it's it's another fantastic Civivi. I won't review this one because, well, it's not my knife, and I want to get it out to Johnny H. Because... I bet he's looking forward to getting his hands onto it. I hope he is. But, guys, I had to save the best for last. This was the knife that I was going to Blade Show West to get the minute I heard they were going to have them. Yes, this is the MBK Sea Otter. Full titanium, CPM 154. On the blade, the finish, look at that tumbled finish on the blade, on the handle, dual thumb studs. It's an MBK knife, Sanford and Ray. Oh, man. This thing is fantastic. You guys know I'm a huge Ray Laconico fan, and I got the opportunity to talk with Ray for quite a bit. He is Dude, he is one of the most humble guys you will ever talk to, you know, the, in this in this community. He really, really is. He's an absolutely fantastic guy. And I am so, so happy I got my hands on, you know, the, one of the first batch of sea otters to come out. Very happy. Guys, I, I'm, you know, this might make some people unhappy, but... I would put this up against a small Sabenza any day. I really, really would. This is their first full U.S. made knife. And, yeah. Absolutely. Guys, if, if you're a CRK fan, I you need to get your hands on one of these. I'm telling you. You need to get your hands on one of these knives. I, that, yeah.
Just do it. But this, this is my knife of Blade Show West, without a doubt. Um, they did actually win a an award, MBK did, for the full titanium slayback, actually. So, very cool. I Was it best production knife? I can't quite remember what the award was for, but they actually won an award for the slayback. So, congratulations to MBK Ray Sanford. That's really, really cool and really awesome. So, guys, that is my haul. Well, let's see. Let's do this. We got to get that guy kind of right in the middle because, yeah, that's it. I know it's little, but I'm going to let you guys look at these for a little, little bit. And I just wanted to say a few words about the show. Uh, first off, man, thank you, Zach. Thank you, Lorenzo. I... I was riding around with them and palling around with them all weekend. Um, we ended up, we got there Thursday, you know, got to the show Friday. We at, was at the show all day Friday, was at the show all day Saturday. Sunday, we pretty much chilled out. We did SKL Saturday night, and then we did Zach's Live Sunday afternoon. And then we just pretty much hung out and watched football after that. Because we were exhausted. I mean, we were so tired. And I still am. I still am. Because we stayed up late talking every night and just having a good time. And then Monday, we ended up going to uh, ProTech and having a wonderful, wonderful um, tour. Uh, Dave, the owner of ProTech, gave us a tour of the facilities. From what I understand, it's a new facility, larger facility. Um, they've just bought new machinery. They had a couple of brand new CNC machines. Um, so they can go to go to work putting out more of what is a fantastic, fantastic product. Um, I know Zach picked up a Malibu. I mean, there were people around that ProTech table just non-stop. So very, very cool. And then we ended up hitting Ross Cutlery um, down in L.A., and or up in LA, I think it was up in LA, whatever. I, I, I'm wow, but yeah, in LA, uh, I did pick up a ProTech at Ross Cutlery. Uh, the video will come on this one all by itself. I need to do a little bit of research, I need to talk to the guys about ProTech. When I saw this knife, I was like, oh man, that thing's going to walk out with me. I know it is. I spent way too much money <laughs> at Blake Show West, but man, I had to pick up this knife. And it's my understanding, it's like a 1 of 50, he thought. But I'm going to talk to ProTech, get a little bit more info on it, and we'll definitely be, it'll be getting its own video for sure. Fantastic to see... I mean, I hung around, not only did I hang out with uh, Zach and Lorenzo, but we hung out with Peter and Christine, Women Carry Knives, Therapeutic Edge, had a wonderful, wonderful, amazing time with them. They actually came out, oh my goodness, what night was that? Must have been Sunday night. Yeah, must have been Sunday night they came out. Uh, well, they came out to do SKL, so did um, Eggs and Ham, David, and Katie, Mrs. Eggs and Ham, if you've seen her in the live stream, she actually has started a YouTube channel on SKL. I think we got up, got her up to 62 subscribers. She doesn't have any content yet, but she did film some content at Blade Show West and is going to be getting it out. So that's really cool. Another, you know, another knife perspective, you know, from, from a female perspective. Knife reviews from a female perspective. This is never a bad thing, guys. And, you know, with like I said, with the stuff with Brighton Blades coming out, that's absolutely awesome. I will say something about Christine. I think she works for every knife company out there. I know we said it on both of our live streams and everything, mine and Zach's, but everywhere you went, that girl was behind the counter. Like, <laughs> she was, oh my goodness. But we did. We got to hang out with Peter and Christine a little bit. Uh, Sunday Sunday evening, and that was absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, met Jake, Bearded Gear, that was cool. Mattisfaction. Uh, like I said, I met Chris from Cerberus Knives. That was the first time I got to meet him. That was really cool. 
Of course, we talked to Ray and Sanford, uh, talked to Ben from Jack Wolf Knives so much, met so many wonderful people. And then you guys, the viewers that came up during the show, that was awesome. You know, like JC66, 2A Dad, um, JRMZ, um, C. Lemansky. I know I'm going to miss a few. I'm sorry, guys, if I do. But it was so cool of all of you that did that. That was so much fun. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for doing that. I shouldn't have mentioned a few because I'm going to miss a few and now I'm going to feel bad. But please, uh, don't don't take it as an insult, please. It's just, like I said, I'm, I'm wiped. And I told the guys today, I'm glad I'm coming back here because we're going to go into 12-hour shift work. And I might actually get more sleep than I did during Blade Show West. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so there you go, guys. Thank you that were all that were there and those of you that weren't there but followed along in the live streams and the Instagram posts and, you know, the, the videos that I did manage to get out. I didn't do a lot of videoing. I was having way too much fun talking to people. I I'll be perfectly honest with you. I was having way too much fun doing that. So, oh my gosh, I've rambled on for like 20 minutes here. Guys, again, thank you all so very much for making Blade Show West 2021 just an absolutely fantastic, fantastic event. I had so much fun. I'm going to upload this video and I'm going to crash. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> so thanks so much, guys. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.